Welcome back to the second episode. Now we are in the PZ World app. Let's create a new a map with two by two cells. And now we have to found the folder with our map. So this is a landscape map and the tutorial, the vege vegetation map have to be in the same, has to be in the same folder. So you can drop and drag it to the cells. Zero by zero, one by zero, and so on. Now we are ready to transform the PNG in TMX all cells, please. This is okay. Now I have to select select a folder. Um, this one assign generate maps to the world of course so what's generated will be placed this, uh, at the end of the conversion mm -hmm. okay exist already because I've recorded a video what wasn't okay 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 <laughs> finished so um, now the we see that the maps will be the TMX files will be placed in the cells And if we in this um, window, you can't place buildings. You have to choose a cell. For example, this one here. You can click on the minimap to z scroll or with your mouse wheel. Um, okay, okay. <laughs> With a plus you can zoom in and minus is zoom out. And in this window you can place buildings. If you have buildings. I can choose some buildings of my island. For example this one. Maybe it's big enough or too big so we can put it here in Ta -da. okay this is a mistake of me no problem now you see your building on the main map if you are okay with your, uh, your map, you can select um, generate lots all cells or the selected one. If you change something after your first release or so. And now we have to select the folder for the output and the zombie spawn map image. It should be um, 10 times smaller than your whole map. So in my case um, 20 by 20 but I think it's not a problem if I choose um, 
I mean 60 by 60, sorry. I have created a 90 by 90 totally black. I think it's not a problem for now. And the world origin is um, something for connecting maps to each other. For example, the original maps uh, uh, consist of um, what the, the correct word? Sorry. Consists yes, of um, two maps, and this is my mapping guide. Um, there are a lot of information in it. For example, you can see the colors you can use for your uh, landscape map and the colors for your vegetation map. And something in somewhere in the end is um, a part to connect the cells. So Moldred has an offset of tw 25 by 25. Um, it starts every time by 0 to 0. And let's say you want to connect the the <coughs> your map in the south of Molded, so you have to set the offs offset to I'm not quite sure how big 20 by 20 so the offset should be um, forty six to twenty five so it's some in the north of the south of Molded, I think something like that okay okay and now it will generate the lots You see the numbers. On the map. And now it's finished. And I think if you... Put this files in your... Don't open it. Um, in the where is it? Media maps. I'm not quite sure, but I think you. Um, Maybe you can put it in the, your um, this folder, maybe. Mm -hmm. I never implemented a map yet, so I'm not quite sure. Ah, uh, is it? Uh.
could be that this is um, part of yes so uh, Bedford Falls I've installed Bedford Falls in and it is in the same folder as molded it adds uh, this cells the problem I've choosed the cells, yes so it will be overwritten okay I hope that helped and see you next time.